So we went to this place called Perks. Mm. Can't go wrong with the vanilla latte, truly. That is good. And this is the breakfast egg wrap. <laughs> windy out there that my eyes are watering oh my god my camera got knocked over twice no more driving shots for now i'm sorry i got as many as i could but i don't want to break my camera Something I was not aware of, and maybe it is just me, was the intense high that comes after backpacking. And naturally what goes up must come down, leading me into a deep low a few days after my trip. For me, when I'm feeling sad or low, I like to sit in that feeling for a while. It helps me much more to just feel that negative feeling than try to fight it. So after sitting in my sadness for quite a while, I decided the only thing that would cheer me up was planning another trip. So I started doing a bunch of research on places to backpack and other things that I may need. That has satiated me for the time being and I spent the rest of my time at this campsite relaxing and dreaming about the months to come. Rice and veggies is one of my favorite meals to make because it's so easy and 
delicious every single time. You know what I really need? I really need a mount on my windshield or something so you guys can stop looking at me in these god-awful angles. I, I swear, I come on YouTube and I just post the worst angles of me and I'm like, it has been absolutely crazy windy but i'm hoping the wind dies down at some point this week i can't believe it's already march time is just flying by oh, i have been doing so much planning for the future and honestly that's kind of what keeps me going planning stuff and having stuff to look forward to really helps me and it's something that i've always kind of something that i've always done i know we're supposed to be present and all of that but you know, sometimes you just need a little something to look forward to. Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared someone's gonna come over. I don't know from where, but like, they're gonna be like, why do you have a fire? You're stupid. Is there any sign that says you can't have a fire? No. I spent the rest of the night journaling. Because I was feeling low, I intentionally set time aside to journal. I write pretty regularly, but this time I wanted to write about this specific feeling and made sure to make the time for it. It's been really windy this last week, so the wind has finally died down today. Enough for me to have a fire. So I'm very excited about that because I've been wanting to have a fire all week. Can you hear the birds? How are the birds still singing? Writing has helped me quite a lot and I know it doesn't help everyone, but I find it works for me. Something about getting the words out of my head and onto paper feels like I'm purging something inside me. Otherwise, it feels sticky in my brain. I am a naturally low energy person and after I exert myself socially or mentally or physically, I need lots of time to recover. Days like these where I just chill around a fire, hang with Athena, read or write, really help me recharge. Instead of feeling bored or stuck when I don't do much, I feel refreshed and clear-headed afterwards. Go ahead and drown the fire. 